My Monday starts just like anybody else, except I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning. The job starts at 6.30, about an hour drive. So I was up at 4.30. It's, it's not glorious by any means, it's, but I love doing it. It's, you know, it's something different every day. Right yeah, overall, it's actually, it's cool work. And you gotta learn it. Everything's learning on the job, so. That's why you go to school twice a week at night for six hours and you work 40 hours a week. A career as an electrical worker with the National Electrical Contractors Association, NECA, and the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, or IBEW, offers extraordinary benefits, including a strong wage package, medical insurance, and a sound retirement program, among many other benefits. This exciting career starts with apprenticeship through a Joint Apprenticeship and Training Committee, or JATC Training Center, operated by an IBEW local union and local chapter of NECA. They give you all the tools that you need to succeed in the on a job site out here because you only really have five years in the apprenticeship, you know, so you got to get the most out of it while you're being trained. An IBEW NECA apprenticeship offers apprentices the invaluable opportunity to work on the job side by side with a journeyman electrical worker and education in world class electrical training facilities unparalleled anywhere in the industry. A career as an IBEW NECA electrical worker opens the door to the possibility of exceptional career advancement, from apprentice to journeyman, estimator and management roles, to even becoming the owner of your own electrical contracting business. After I complete my five years in the apprenticeship program, I hope to pursue a, a license as a master electrician. I just hope somebody gives me the opportunity to run a job like this or get to the point where I've built my career enough to where, hey, that, that, that big job over there, yeah, that's Jordan Basic's job. That's what he's doing. But while the prospect of becoming an IBEW NECA electrical apprentice may seem like the right path, working in construction is not for everyone. The real-life rigors of the electrical construction trade and the commitment to an additional five years of classroom instruction in a local area JATC trade school as well as 8,000 hours of on-the-job training should be understood and accepted prior to applying for your apprenticeship. This will help ensure you are making the right choice. If you ain't learning on the job and you're just trying to show up and get paid, you know, it's, you ain't gonna really learn too much. In class, they'll do hands-on activities to kind of give you a feel for it. But then on the job, the journeyman will slow down and talk to you and kind of, you know, if you ever have a question, you usually just ask them and they're, they should be able to stop whatever they're doing and talk to you. Further, apprentice candidates are expected to possess a mechanical aptitude and a fundamental understanding of algebra and geometry while being on time and keeping a good attitude. Utilizing what has been learned in the classroom, online, and in hands-on training applications in conjunction with your willingness to listen to and carry out direction as instructed is imperative. This is not only to ensure the job is done properly, but also for the safety of everyone working on the job site. Your attendance is also required on all work and school days, as well as being prompt, as the combination of quality work, safety, and on-time delivery of every construction project is part of what makes the IBEW the very best in the industry. Workdays in construction are different than in most other occupations. The construction workday may start as early as 6 a.m. and may also extend several hours past a standard eight-hour day. I'm up at 5.45. My alarm went off 4.30. Day starts at 5 o'clock, so I try to be at work and park by 4.30. No, you gotta be in class at 7, ready to go. You're late, go home. Although IBEW NECA apprentices and journeymen are paid well for each and every hour worked, you may be required to make special accommodations for extended work days or work a six to seven day week in order to complete a job with a tight deadline. Apprentices are also expected to attend school during the week, either in the evening or during the day, in addition to taking online classes through their local JATC. This places an additional burden on the situation to ensure all schoolwork is completed and done properly. 
Right from the very first day on the job, apprentices are expected to be dressed appropriately for work. This not only includes being dressed for the weather and potential changes, but also to work safely on a construction site. Weather conditions are often extreme, as electrical workers may be outside in the coldest months, as well as the warmest, with temperatures ranging from well below freezing to well above 90 degrees with high relative humidity. This is not only a matter of your comfort to work well on the job, but also your safety. The other day I was in a manhole that we have out there. I mean, I was in there for about five hours yesterday. Uh, my feet were warm. The work of an electrical worker may even be surprising to some, as apprentices may be required to unload trucks, dig ditches, and build basic structures in addition to many other tasks. I had no idea <laughs> of what I was getting into, the extent of what I was getting into when I got into it. I did not know that electricians build things. I did not know that they tear down things. I figured they just wire stuff. Uh, we got a delivery coming. The guy's gonna pull it over by the pipe. He's got one skid. Want to get that for me? You should also be aware that the restroom facilities on most job sites are limited to portable units and will be the only option available. I never even thought about the restroom situation. Never paid any attention until I had to go to the restroom. The understanding of your apprenticeship experience, both on the job and at the training center, is the key to making this career choice a success. And we hope this has provided a quality look into the life of an apprentice. As long as you're there and you want to work, it, it always goes by smoothly. It's just a day in the life of, is what I do. Because, you know, you're outside for eight hours, it's a tax a day. You know, you're out working physically. I wouldn't say it's, it's easy by any means. It's not, it's not bad. I, was, I know people think of construction, they think of dirty, and they think of, you know, oh, it's a man's job, but you know what? It could be a woman's job, too. It's all about working together, being organized, and doing it right. More information is available here on Electric Prep and through your local JATC training center. Now that you've had a glimpse into a day in the life of an electrical apprentice, Let's take a few moments to go through some more program details. The Detroit Electrical Industry Training Center is located in Warren, Michigan, and provides electrical apprenticeship training for the seven counties in and around Metro Detroit. So let's ask the big question. Would you like to get paid to go to school today? Well, that's the idea behind our electrical apprenticeship. It's an opportunity for you to get paid to go to school and learn on the job. We combine on-the-job experience with classroom education. Apprentices attend two days of classes a month. Classes are a blend of in-person, online, and hands-on labs. As an apprentice, your job experience starts right away. 90% of your apprenticeship is working in the field for one of our contractors, getting paid to learn. Our apprenticeship model is the opposite of the traditional college model. With us, you begin earning wages in week one and get valuable job experience throughout your apprenticeship program. Our fees are very minimal, around $100 a month with some additional small fees for things like basic tools, books, and construction clothing. Most importantly, you'll graduate debt-free. Over the next 10 years, roughly 45% of our existing field workforce will be retiring or retirement eligible. That means over 2,000 new career opportunities among just our current workforce. Combine that with a strong construction market and you've got a pathway for success. What do our electricians make? Average annual salaries for our electricians in this market range from $70,000 to $90,000 per year, plus benefits and retirement. Of course, many more make more than this based on skill level and specialties. We offer three different apprenticeship programs. When you apply, you're welcome to apply for one, two, or all three programs. The Inside Wireman program is our five-year program. Inside Wiremen work on everything from hospitals to power plants and arenas, 
on renewable energy projects like solar, wind, and electrical vehicle charging stations to public infrastructure like water systems. On the slide are the various wage rates for the Inside Wireman program. As an apprentice, you'll start at $19.08 per hour. Receive raises as you grow your skills and graduate earning $42.39 an hour. Benefits like health care and retirement income are also provided on top of this hourly compensation. The Sound, Communication, and Data Management program is a three-year apprenticeship and is one of the largest growth areas in our industry today. Fire alarm systems, data management, building security systems, and building automation are some of the many areas within this program. Starting apprentice wage rates are $14.50 and the rate post-graduation is $36.21 with benefits and retirements. Our residential program is three years and serves the residential market which includes your house and mine and large apartment complexes and multi-unit dwellings. Wages begin at $12.65 with a graduation rate of $25.30 plus benefits and retirement. How do you decide which program? Well, it usually comes down to what you're interested in most. We're happy to talk with you more about each program to help you find the best fit for you. In addition to being a field electrician through your apprenticeship education, there are many other career pathways within our industry for you long term. 98% of our electrical contractors began as an apprentice and first spent time in the field and then starting their own business. You really can go anywhere from here. Do I really need algebra and math to be an electrician? Yes, you do. Algebra and math skills are really important to your success and will be used every day in your career as an electrician. The aptitude test for our apprenticeship measures two areas, algebra competency and reading comprehension. Be sure you're up to speed in both areas before you sit for the aptitude test. In addition to strong math and reading skills, we provide a drug-free workforce to our customers. Drug testing is an ongoing part of the Union Construction Electrician's career starting at the beginning of your apprenticeship. This includes recreational marijuana. The application process begins through our online portal at DetroitEITC.org. You must be at least 17 and have graduated from high school or completed your GED. Applicants need access to reliable transportation and must have completed one year of high school algebra. Applications are taken one day a month and the dates are on the website on the How to Apply page. All applications are done through the website. You'll apply online, send us your sealed high school transcripts within 30 days, and then be scheduled for the aptitude test. If you score high enough on the test, you'll be scheduled for an interview. Scores from the interview and the aptitude test are combined to a final score. If that score is high enough, you will move forward to the selection list. The entire process takes three to six months from application to selection list. You may be on the selection list for up to two years. Apprentice classes are started based on market demand. Since 90% of your apprenticeship is on the job, we need to make sure you'll have adequate work before bringing in a new apprentice. Thanks for spending time learning more about the electrical apprenticeships today. There's a lot more information on our website, DetroitEITC.org, under the Apprenticeship tab. Please contact us through the site with any additional questions.